Yes, so we are Erev Yom Tov, Erev Rosh Hashanah, Baruch Hashem, the last learning of Tanya for the year of Tafshin Pei Dalet. We are transitioning to Tafshin Pei Hei, to Hei Shinas Pei, as Rav Shlomo brought down from Rav Ginsburg. We have the opportunity to learn a Lushtikul in Tanya just before Yom Tov, important to Chaparayan. We're finishing off chapter 25. Shout out to my Choshev Chavrusa who was in Yushalayim during the uh, missile attack last night. Sent a video of all the missiles flying in Yushalayim. My daughter was there hearing sirens and booms and bombs and this and that. And then we were here in a frat hearing all the booms. And uh, in our bomb shelter, my daughter was the youngest one was in the middle of a, a hug, a, a fun activity. And suddenly they were all running into the shelter and then running into someone's home and the whole story. And uh, Baruch Hashem, it's been Labor Day, Hashem done a lot of miracles for us. My younger two sons are in Oman and they're by the Siddiquim over there doing a lot of holy, holy avoda. I'm here the opportunity, Baruch Hashem, to dumb for my oldest son, Baruch Hashem Masha, who will be fighting continuously in Lebanon until this war is over by ridding ourselves, as we said yesterday from Lakut Maran, from Machias Amalek, and please go bid him by some Migdash, Kibbutz Israel, and uh, Melech Mashiach, that's what we're, we're getting ready for. So let's see what the Tanya says. Mm-hmm. Ah, Learning a little bit of Tanya. Yeah. In the light of a bard, we understood where Moshe Rabbeinu, peace be upon him, commanded in the book of Devarim. This is to the generation that entered the Holy Land. This is what we were learning yesterday. They have three mitzvahs now. Yeah. Mechir Samalek. One. Mechir um, Melech. And, and Migdash. Migdash, yeah. And this is the, the door the door bought by Aretz. That's why we're reading Sefer Devarim at the end of the year, the end of mm-hmm, ge- the generations. Mm-hmm. This is Moshe Rabbeinu. And what does he say in there? He asks us, he says, he commands upon us to what? To say the Shema, the Aretz, the Chorus Kriya Shema, Parmayim B'chol Yom, the Kabbalah of Malchus Shemaim B'Mesiris Nefesh. And this is the eighth of the, 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 the mitzvah, the, the Sivui of Hashem. The Kalva Rebbe said, many years ago when he came out the show and all the way till he passed away I was lucky to be by him and that's where I got my strama from from the Kala Rebbe Zatzal and he said many many times he had Giluim from Shem Bayochai that that is the most important mitzvah before Mashiach comes for us to say Shema at night and Shema at day in the morning uh-huh. and to be Mamlech Hashem on ourselves the 12 hours of the, day, of the night the 12 hours of the day all the different aspects of creation 12 months everything gets stuck in the 12 tribes through the Kriya Shema, through those 12 words of the first Pasuk and the second Pasuk, Shema Yitzvah Baruch Hashem, Yichud Ilah, Yichud Tata. And he says, you have to do this two times a day, and this is with Messias Nefesh. Evahalo haptiach lehem, pachtim, marachem, yiten Hashem. Now someone may ask, why is it next to present himself for martyrdom? Have they not been promised that God will lay a fear dread upon all the inhabitants of the lad? Why do we have to necessitate us giving ourselves over to Hashem rather than, God forbid, being shechted by the Goyim. Hashem said he's going to put the fear and dread upon all the nations of the lands. Just like he did last night, he's going to put dread upon yeah. all our enemies because they can't do anything to us. Hashem makes miracles. The only people that were Nefta were Palestinian and five Jordanians. Yeah? Wow. So Hashem protected us from our enemies. Well, Iranians, rather. Wow. Not Jordanians. So, Baruch Hashem. So that's the Messias Nefesh. We should be Zohar to live with Messias Nefesh. That's the point. And the Shemeshum Shekayim Hatoyra Mitzvah Seh Tali Bezeh She Yitzko Tamid Inyu Messias Nafshal Hashem Ayechudo. Because fulfillment of the Torah and its commandments is continual being constantly aware of readiness to surrender his life to God for the sake of his unity. We have to live constantly and learn Torah and do mitzvahs with Messias Nefesh. It's not about just surrendering our life, God forbid, to the to the Goyim. It's about giving ourselves up to Hashem in the Kiyam of Torah and mitzvahs for the sake of His unity. Yeah, that we have to never take our eye off um, what the goal is, that we're fixed permanently in our heart and we're not to part from His memory day and night. And this way, one is to understand his evil connection, vanquish every time in moments. It's not just a war with the nations around us that we're in, with the Lebanon and, and the, the, the Hezbollah and Hamas, yeah, and all the places where, you know, I miss our fighting in the world against anti Semitism and anti Solism. It's a war for the Neshama, a war for, uh, with our Yetzirah, evil connection, constantly to, to be able to serve Hashem constantly. 
or hold you or about to sleep, your father could rise up and stray, God forbid. So we have to constantly fight for against this Yetzirah that wants to make us stray. But remembers that he would be prepared to suffer martyrdom for his love of God and his belief in Hashem, his unity, he would surely be able to overcome his evil inclination and perform all the mitzvahs. And that's in the Kudah. It's, it's a constant mitzvah's nefesh to serve Hashem and to mekayim all the mitzvahs there. Uh, from Hashem Yisbarach. And that's the message we take with us every, every morning and night, with Shema, with night and morning. And every time we, we blow the shofar, there's also a Messias Nefesh for the mitzvahs, an Indian of awakening the Neshama, this Rosh Hashanah, please God, with the Zizkai, the honey, and the, the sweetness of serving Hashem, not just the, 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 the Messias Nefesh, the sweetness of Messias Nefesh, the sweetness of Yiddishkai, to enjoy it, to have fun with the family, to enjoy the Ched the, the, the Hashem, of Hashem, the idea of enjoying being close to Hashem on this holy, holy day, and to bring that gilui of, of Shema Yisrael, Hashem Achad, the, the big edus that we perform in Hazin of Hashem Baris. We know that the heavens are testifying, the earth's testifying, everything's testifying of our mission, our purpose, and this recent miracles is testifying Hashem's totally with us and protecting us. And we have to thank Hashem, and we have to constantly show our appreciation by doing His will through Torah mitzvahs, and by connecting all of our Yisrael together with Achdus and unity and the unification of Hashem Achad and to join all the Neshamas of Yisrael, Yeshisha Rebus of the Torah, all of Klai Yisrael and all the Neshamas of Klai Yisrael, Yushurin and all the Tefillahs are going to have this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Sukkot, the whole of Tishrei coming up, Balena the Tova, should be a Shabbos Tikka Chodesh. Yeah, it says the seventh month is the Chodesh of Shri, is a, is a Shabbos Tikka Chodesh, it's a Yom Shakula Shabbos. We're trying to bring the Shabbos energy. We're going to have Pasha Hazino on Shabbos this week, and then next Shabbos, Yom, Yom HaKadosh itself. We're going to keep learning, Be'ez Hashem, the Heilige Torahs of the Balatanya, keep going weiter together in Yiddishkeit. In, in all the good things, everyone should be blessed. Kasiva Kasima Tova, good Gaben Shur. And we should realize that it's not small things, all the sleekers, everything we've been doing. There's so much uh, even when mumbling through the sleekers and the Taras and Dayim, Hashem is hearing our tefillahs, hearing our ritzonus, and the Shalom Bias we should be blessed with, and all those people traveling. It should be have Shmir Leona about to Tovel in the Mikveh just to get some Tahara before the Yom Tov, to hold of Tishrei to have some Tahara, Taras and Nefesh. And Be'ez Hashem, we should be zokha with the purity and, and, and the sincerity that we walk around, that we should keep sharing the light of Hashem, sharing um, with thanks to Hashem. And we're going to do like a little cover photo of my other son, Rabbi Goldsmith, Aaron Yosef, because it was a funny, funny VIP pass in Oman that was given to us. We have to add a little bit of sense of humor to everything we're doing as well. With all the miracles Hashem's doing, have a little bit of a laugh and dance. To keep keep a simcha dika energy, the schok, the acid, the schok, the, the laughter of the future is coming very soon as we bring the sheikh to Kainabim Havi Menu. Amen. Thank you.